Hello everyone, Chris here from Friendly Frenzy Games, and today we're going to be tackling the explanation and solves for all of the puzzles in the Omega Corporation chapter of Rooms in Escape Simulator. This first room is called The Lobby. We've got many more full walkthroughs just like this one. Subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games if you like what you see here so that you don't miss out on any future content. So you can see here, obviously, that with this being the first chapter in this series of rooms, we're kind of starting out at the very bottom of what would essentially be, you know, kind of the um, bottom floor of this kind of building tower here, the Omega Corporation. Um, so the best kind of starting point for this puzzle, or for this room anyways, you can see we've got a couple of different puzzles, but a very small room in comparison to some of the other ones that we've kind of gone through and tackled. Um, the best puzzle to start on is just kind of this keypad for the cabinet here. So you can see we've got a yellow kind of post-it note here with a hint on it saying that we need to escape from the office before. And this is directly kind of mentioning our evacuation plan here. We see that our office B4 is where we need to escape from. This is relevant. You can see that we've got obviously as the evacuation plan we know kind of like where we would need to go in case of an emergency or a fire or whatever have you. Um, but it's telling us where we need to actually start from and if you notice here that there's an X and um, a check mark this is actually just replicating the keypad that's below us here obviously the X isn't red and the check mark isn't green but what we need to do is actually just follow the directions here that would lead us out through the exit and we're just going to kind of recreate that pattern on the um, keypad here so obviously office B4 um, is going to be, um, you can basically look at this as the keypad, so this would be one, two, three, um, four. Obviously all these other ones don't necessarily have numbers on it. You can see that eight is going to be our eight number here, four is here, whatever. But again, so we know we, we're starting in off as B4. It's going to be our fourth button on the keypad. We're going to go to five and then follow this direction down. So we're going to go to the hall and eight and then down again to the exit. So we can just go ahead and recreate that. So we said four, five, eight, and then our last one, that's the exit there between the X and the check mark is zero. And as soon as we input that, you have to make sure you hit the check mark to input it, but we unlock what looks to be a metal detector. And what we need this for is for this puzzle here. So you can see we have a bunch of different symbols kind of painted on this wall here with some electrical circuits. Um, what this is saying is that the workers painted over the wiring schematics. Um, so what we need to do, and you can see here that we have our symbols here, we're looking for a combination um, to unlock this kind of wall safe here. So what we need to do is just take our metal detector and you can see that it gives us kind of um, the ability to slide this. You can see that our light changed from red to green on here. So we know that the king symbol we need to use. Um, the pawn doesn't light up, so we don't need to use that one. Our knight doesn't light up, we don't use this one. Our bishop does, you can hear the sound too. Um, our rook doesn't light up, and our queen does. So we know we have our king, our bishop, and our queen that we need to use for symbols here. So we said king, queen, and bishop, and then confirm. And you can see that we open this right away, which is awesome. I'm gonna throw that out for now because we won't need that again. We have the briefcase with another yellow post-it note on it and some more directions here. So the note on the briefcase said that the code is on the bracelet that's inside the case. Left is regular, right is reverse. You can see here that we have kind of three um, two three-digit codes and they're saying that the left is the regular um, code and then the right side is the flip of that. So if we look behind us here, we have an x-ray machine. We need to actually put the briefcase inside it. You can see if you get the right angle, it's actually going to plop it down right inside the machine. And what we need to do to be able to actually see inside this now though, is turn our um, computer over. So you have to kind of use the little pivot on the back here to spin the monitor around. So spin it around until we're able to actually use it here. And what we need to do is first unlock this touchscreen computer. So to do this, if you hit forgot password, it tells us the numbers um, and everything that correlates to the number kind of combination here. So the first being her age or their age, um, favorite pink beauty, and then left and then right. And what that is kind of relating to is if we look in the drawers here, we have a birthday kind of cake photograph with the number 30 on it. We know just by doing the forgot password again that age is the first number. So we can go ahead and plug 30 in just from this cake photograph. 
We'll just drop that for now. We don't have anything in here. We have the token, but we can save that for later. Um, we do have um, a pair of boots over here. And if actually we pick them up and look underneath, we have a nine marked on it. And what the left and right for the password is corresponding to is actually just the left and right foot. We can see here that we have a left boot with the nine marked on it. And our right boot here, if we flip this over, has an eight on it. So we know that our left and right boots are eight and nine or nine and eight, I guess. But we need to figure out where to get the favorite pink beauty. And that's actually just from this picture frame that's kind of turned away from us on the desk, but you can see it's got a clue icon in the top toolbar there. If you pick it up, the pink beauty is actually just the car. Obviously we have a grouping of two letters, two numbers, and then another two letters. On this keypad, we don't have any letters, so we can't use those. We know we need just the numbers here, so it'll be 53. So we have 30 from the cake, we have 53 from the car, and then again, forgot password. We have left, then right, just to kind of confirm here again really quickly. We have our left boot here with the nine, so we know left and right is nine and eight. So we'll go ahead and plug that in and do a login. And you can see now that we are in, we have the ability to use the x-ray machine, so we can go ahead and use that here. And you can see this is where the bracelet is. So going back to our clue here from the note, we know that left is regular, right is reversed. So we can see very clearly here a 619, that's gonna be our um, left combination, and then reverse of that is gonna be 916, and we'll input that on our right side. So we'll go ahead, 619, and we wanna just make sure that it's kind of lined up with the you know kind of horizontal straight across. There aren't any markings where you need to line these locks up, but it is just kind of like the flattest most edge. So we said 619 here, we'll go do in f the flip side here of 916, nine six and you can see that that automatically opens you need to click the lid to open it but inside we have our bracelet we don't need to do anything with this but we do want this key card that's what's going to help us escape the room so we're just going to throw that down throw this down throw this down we don't need any of that right now um, you can see here that we have the ID for Gregory Clark we have currently an access level of two and his employee number is um, 042 if we go in here, what we need to do is actually upgrade our security clearance because right now, if we were to use this, um, we get the ability to enter the password, but we're not going to have security clearance to be able to um, actually leave the room. So we have security clearance here and to be able to unlock the security clearance portion of this system, we need to first kind of go through and do a security clearance check. So we have a series of nine symbols here. On the poster that's right beside the x-ray, we only have six. And you can see here that the direction for this puzzle is to pick the three symbols that are missing. So if we do a quick inspection of this here, we can see that we have a hand, we have a camera, we have a person, almost a person running, we have a cell phone and another cell phone. What we don't have is the cigarette or smoking here. We don't have the shopping cart here and we don't have the gun or firearms here. So as soon as you click those three, it's gonna unlock that puzzle and now we have access to change security clearance. You can see here the current employee, we don't have any. If we go ahead and hit change, we know that the badge here, we're looking for Gregory Clark, but we need to put in his employee number and not his name. So we'll go ahead and go back to this. It says enter the employee number. We know it's 042 from the card that we have. Input that and hit confirm. And you see that it lines up with the clearance level that we have. So we have access level here, which is our clearance level. We want to just go ahead. I don't know if there is like an actual, if, if it would be fine going to three, four, but you might as well just max out your clearance level as high as it's going to go. It'll cap us out at five here. So we have the ability now, once we unlock this puzzle, to actually use the card on the room. That'll let us that'll let us escape. You can see here that the card's okay, but we need to enter the password. And you can see that we have a bunch of fruit on here. What we need to do is there is a tree decoration with those same kind of fruit symbols on here. And once we figure out how to read this, it's going to give us the input that we need to be able to get out of this kind of front door here. But again, another part to this puzzle here is what we need to first do is go to our computer again, our touch screen, and go to the LED display controls menu up at the top. 
As soon as you click that, you'll see right now that the display message is marked off, and you can just kind of confirm that there's nothing kind of showing up in this area. That's where the display message would be. What we need to do is turn it over to important. And as soon as you do that, you can see that this powers up and it's spitting out a combination of 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, all that. You know, obviously, again, going back to this keypad that we don't have numbers, it's symbols. But why the tree is important is it's going to tell us, this is going to tell us how to read the tree. So what we need to do, we know our first kind of number in the combination or the first symbol that we're looking for is 0, 1, 1. And how you use the tree is just the left side, If because our first number starts with a zero, we're gonna go and use the left kind of limb here. If it was one, we would use the right side. So we know um, it's 0, 1, 1 for our first kind of symbol. So we'll go using this zero from the kind of trunk, we'll go zero and then we have one, so we'll use the right limb now, and then we'll use the one on this and use the right limb, and our first symbol is gonna be an apple. So we can put that into our key combination here, so we'll hit the apple. We'll do the same thing now with the second letter, so it's one, zero, one. As you can see here, we have a one on our right side, so we'll go out the right side, we'll do a zero here, um, and that'll go out our left side here, and then we have one, and that'll go to a banana for our second number. So we have apple, now we have banana, and then our third number is zero, zero, one. So we have our zero here, we'll go out the left side, zero here, we'll go out our left side again, and then one is just gonna kind of line up here nicely with our top limb, and our last one is a cherry. So we can go ahead and plug that in, we'll hit our cherry button here, and you gotta hit the check mark. And just like that, our door is open now. We've escaped the room. The first um, escape room for the Omega Corporation is complete. The lobby, full puzzle solve and full room walkthrough. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, drop a comment, give us a like, and subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for many more escape simulator guides just like this one.